Island Duck, Ray Navarrete of the back-to-back -back champion Long Island Ducks. And this is the pregame show with Chris Saito. You know what? Come on, everybody. Welcome back to Long Island Ducks pregame show. I'm Christopher Saida. Big thanks to Ray Never Red who opened up the pregame show for us today. And that was actually really cool to do because I just asked him. I was like, so I'm preparing for next season already. This was like way back in October. Um, I was like, uh, I need some new stuff for the uh, channel. So will you, can you help me out? And he's like, yeah. So I was able to get him to do the opening. And I want to thank him so much. It means a lot that he supports this channel. And I support him 100%. Um, so let's get to some stuff that you need to know about Ducks Baseball. Uh, last night, they took a split of the doubleheader. Uh, last night, they uh, lost 8-7. to seven, And they won uh, the second game 4-3. to three. Let's go to some highlights. Here's a game number one, the 8-7 to seven loss. Bailey stands in, pitch all the way from Martinez, all speed pitch, and then a stroke toward the gap. Left center field, and will go all the way to the one and track, and all the way to the wall. Coming in to score is John Meyer. Joash Brodine is coming in. He will score on two-run stand-up double for Adam Bailey. And the Ducks have tied this thing up a two. The 2012 season for the Long Island Ducks, giving them their second title. And this one a stroke base hit, right center field. Cody Puckett is going to be waved in, and he will score. RBI single, Dan Lyons, three consecutive singles for the Ducks here in the bottom of the second inning, and the Ducks have taken a 3-2 lead. Oh, satellite reception, recalculating, recalculating. A two-run blast for Keith Castillo, and the Ducks have cut this lead down to one. But that's all we got from game one. And in game number two, in the bottom of the eighth inning, they came back to win. Here's that highlight. Lions hits one high in the air, deep to left center field. Going back is the left fielder, Hungry, and he watches it go off the wall. On his way around there to distribute, he will come home to score. Puckett gets the stop sign as the throw comes into home plate. It's an RBI double for Dan Lyons to left center field. The Ducks are on the scoreboard, and they close to within 2-1. Only struck out five times on the season, the 1-1. One, one. Lifted in the air to right center field. This is going to get down for a base hit. Puckett drops home from third. Lions will try and score. Here's the throw to the plate. It's offline. A two-run single to right center for Phelan Lantini. The Ducks have their first lead of the night. They're on top, 3-2. to two. First pitch, Puckett swings. Ground ball, up the middle, into center field. A base hit for Cody Puckett. He will come home to score. It's a go-ahead RBI single for Cody Puckett, and the Ducks lead it four to three here in the bottom of the eighth inning. And now the ninth inning. Swung on and missed for strike three. The bat went flying into the stands, but this ball game is over, and the Long Island Ducks win it four to three. All right, so yeah, the bat fl went flying into the stands. I did not see it last night. I went to go see the fireworks, though. That's coming up later. That's um something else I wanted to mention to you guys. Uh, so the Ducks took a split of the doubleheader, and now the Ducks want to um, tie the series for, well, well, that's it. Today's the final game of the series. So they want to tie it tonight, and tonight and today's game starts at 1.35. Doors open, gates open, at um, 12.35 p.m., I'm going to be there once again. We're going to be filming. And today, if you get there, the first 1,500 fans get autograph books for the autograph session, the 15-minute autograph session before the game. I'm going to be there doing it today. Why not? And I'm going to meet up with Ryan and a whole bunch of my other friends from the Ducks, uh, Anthony, and a whole bunch of other people. It was really fun on opening night. I had a blast. I hope you guys like the new format. It took a while for me to upload it. It took actually about like three hours to upload every video, but uh, that's how it worked. But today is just going to be simple. There's going to be really only two videos, or three videos actually, I should say. It's um, this, the pregame show, the promos, and the highlights. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, that's all I have to really uh, tell you guys for today about Ducks Baseball. Make sure you're there. 
uh, to support the Ducks because right now they are 500. Yeah, they're 500. Also, if you can't make the game, I did this last night, so I stay in touch because of the fireworks. Because I went to go see them. Uh, you, you can tune in to 103.9 uh, FM to listen in on the Ducks games all season long on LI News Radio. Also, you can watch the games when they're home. You can watch them on the computer. Just go to youtube.com slash li ducks baseball and you get the full game from from your living room if you cannot make it. So that's basically it for ducks baseball. Oh, I forgot to mention. Um, I went to the firework game. I went to the fireworks last night. I went to see them. Here's here's what happened though. I went behind the stadium. How did I get there? I'm not telling you because it was crowded as is, and I really don't want to give that spot away. But, I went to see the fireworks, and I was behind the stadium, so it was really, really cool to see the fireworks from a different angle. And it's going to be uploaded onto the channel uh, tomorrow, when um, when I put all the highlights from today's game on. So that's basically it for uh, this edition of Long On Ducks Pre-Game Show. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the new format. Like, favorite, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week.